The following are video instructions that will assist you in setting up your sauna. The example we are showing is a 6x6 prefab sauna. Some steps may vary depending upon room size. You'll need the following tools on hand. A power screwdriver, a hand screwdriver, a hammer, a minimum 24 inch long level, a utility knife, a crescent wrench, tape measure, sandpaper and a pencil. Everything in your sauna is pre-cut except for the interior ceiling molding pieces and support legs so you'll need some type of saw to cut only those pieces. You'll notice labels on the end of each carton. For your convenience, these show the contents of each carton. There are a number of pieces we have shipped to you. For the purposes of clarity, we will identify some of those parts. Bench, bench ledgers, bench box leg, exterior seam strips, exterior corner pieces, one half inch by four inch exterior finish pieces, headrest, heater guard, base molding, wall panels, and ceiling panels. The wall and ceiling panels are stacked two to a box. Each panel is carefully marked at the top of the panel to assist you in placement. Your sauna must be placed on a waterproof surface, such as tile, concrete, or vinyl. Lay out the base pieces in the location you have chosen. A minimum ceiling height of 7 feet 3 inches is required for installation. Notice that the base pieces have corresponding marks for easy assembly. You'll find screws in the vent slot of the front base piece. Use these screws to fasten the 2x4 base pieces together. This is how the pieces fit together. Align BL back left to BL back left, BR back right to BR back right, and so on. Don't worry about the numbers showing. They will be covered later in the assembly. Leave the front right corner open. This will make it easier to install the last wall panel. After assembling the base, push it into its final position. With a level, check to make sure your base is perfectly level. If not, you can shim the base as necessary. Before assembly, the protective shipping blocks must be removed from the bottom and the sides of each wall panel. Begin assembling the walls at the BL mark on the base by setting the first wall panel in place. This wall panel is marked BL1 for back left 1. Then connect the first left wall panel L1 for left 1. To lock the panels together, lift the panel an inch or so and slide the metal brackets into the groove and onto the pins. You can seat the panel by gently pulling the top downward until the panels are even with each other. This will create a freestanding corner. Then, beginning at the back and using the same locking procedure, simply line up the matching numbers and complete the back wall of your sauna. Because our saunas are made to very exacting dimensions, some panels may be a snug fit. They can be easily pulled down into position by hand. A gentle tap or two with a hammer to align the panels may occasionally be necessary. Then, continue in the same fashion to lock the left and right wall panels in place. Once the back, left, and right wall panels are assembled, set the left front panel in place. You are now ready for the door section. Begin by removing the two nails that were needed for shipping. Next, fasten the outside handle to the door with the screws provided. Then, simply slide the door onto the left front panel and into position. To complete the walls, slide the remaining panel into the door. At this point, before pulling the panel down into its final position, gently work the two wall panels together and put the two screws in the base. Then pull down the last panel, locking it into the corner right wall panel, thus completing the walls. In the 6x8, 8x8, and 8x10 saunas, and reverse layout saunas, where the heater and benches are in reversed positions, the order of the front installation is reversed. Next, place the door header piece in position and attach it with the screws provided. There should be no gaps between the panels. Now you are ready to install the ceiling panels in place. Like the wall panels, the ceiling panels are marked for positioning. The side marked back faces the wall. 
Carefully lift the panel over the sauna and drop it down into position. It will rest securely on the top wall edge. Then lift the panel marked number 2 into position. To interlock the panels, push both panels up at the center from the inside and let them back down into their final position. Line up the grooves for the ceiling panels with the wall panels. Next, measure and cut the moldings for the back of the wall and install with the screws provided. Fasten the moldings to both the wall and the ceiling. All pieces are pre-drilled for your convenience. Follow the same procedure with the left and right moldings. Do not install the front ceiling moldings at this time. The door is designed so that it can be properly aligned easily. The door is properly aligned when the space between the door and the door frame is equal on all sides. Once it is in position, the front ceiling moldings will keep the door in place. Measure and cut the ceiling moldings on either side of the door. Sand the exposed molding where it butts into the door casing for a clean look and install. It is recommended on all saunas to caulk the base to the floor. A silicone product is recommended. You are now ready to install the benches. The long ledger is for the bottom bench and the short ledger for the upper bench. Begin by measuring and marking the walls for the bench ledgers. The height of the bottom bench ledger should be 15 and 3 quarter inches from the floor to the top of the ledger. The upper bench ledger should be 34 and 3 quarters inches from the floor to the top of the ledger. This is detailed in your instructions. With the screws provided, screw the ledgers into place using your marks as a guide. A level should be used to ensure the ledgers are mounted in a level position. Once the ledgers are attached, set the benches in place. For L-shaped benches, additional ledgers are provided except for models with a window. In those cases, the side bench ledger is replaced with a box leg, which is attached to the side wall with the screws provided. Attach the box leg and set the benches in place. Then bolt the benches together with the bolts provided. Where each bench end meets a wall, secure it with two screws set at an angle into each bench ledger. In larger saunas, you may have an additional L-shaped bench. For benches longer than 6 feet, bench center legs are required. Begin by installing the longer center leg first. Locate the notched 2-inch by 3-inch bench support on the underside of the lower bench. Measure from the floor to the bottom of the bench support. Take the long 2-inch by 3-inch piece with the notches in it and measure from the bottom of the notch and make a mark. Cut the board at this mark. Next, measure from the floor to the notch on the underside of the upper bench. Next, turn the support around and measure from the side you just cut. Make another mark for the total length and cut at that mark. Then place the center leg into the notch on the underside of the upper bench. At the same time, position the notch of the leg into the back of the lower bench. Fasten both in place from the top of the upper bench and from the back of the lower bench. Next, it's time to install the front center leg. Measure from the floor to the notch on the underside of the lower bench. Now take the shorter 2 inch by 3 inch piece and cut it to size. Position the front center leg into the notch in the lower bench and screw it into place from the top of the bench. Now you are ready to install the heater. Refer to your instructions for proper heater height from the floor and distance from side walls. Hold the heater in position and mark the wall for the supporting screws. Put the screws in place, leaving a 1 8 inch gap between the wall and the screw head. Then drop the heater into position, resting on the screws. Screw in the bottom two screws to secure the heater. If the controls are mounted on the heater, there is a thermostat bulb and wire located inside the metal cover on the bottom of the heater. This is a job for your electrician. However, you should note the location of the thermostatic bulb and its placement to your electrician. If possible, the bulb should be installed a minimum of 12 inches from the side of the heater.
and the bottom of the bulb cover should be a minimum of 12 inches from the ceiling. The bulb and wire must be completely pulled out, taking caution not to kink the wire, run it up the wall, and cover it with the molding supplied. The sensor wire must not be punctured when nailing the trim piece in place over the wire. The metal bulb guard will hold the capillary bulb in place. These are the heater guard pieces. With the screws provided, screw them together and fasten to the wall even with the heater casing. EverReady AV and JM heaters do not require heater guards. In your heater manual, you'll find a warranty form. Please fill it out in order to activate your warranty. Also, heaters must be hooked up by a qualified electrician or you will void any warranties. You'll find wiring instructions included in your heater box. Next, remove the rock guard from the heater and place the heater stones loosely between the elements until the elements are covered by the stones. You may not need all the rocks, but be sure the elements are completely covered by the stones up to the rock guard. Replace the rock guard once you have finished. Then place the interlocking super deck flooring in the walkway areas. Trim as needed with a utility knife. Hang the thermometer on the wall six inches down from the ceiling directly above the heater. Place the warning signs above the heater and the bathing sign on an interior wall. Before adding the exterior trim pieces, install the last one half inch by four inch corner filler board. Complete your sauna installation by adding the exterior corner trims. If you have the standard exterior of rough sawn mahogany, Add the seam strips to cover the joints between the exterior panels. Enjoy your sauna, but for safety, never place a towel on the heater. And never use pool or spa water on the rocks. Use only clean water, one dipper at a time. For your added enjoyment, we offer a host of optional sauna accessories. A towel preserves the life of your benches and furthers the sanitary condition of your sauna. A sand timer enables the bather to set the time up to 15 minutes. A hygrometer enables the bather to measure the humidity in the sauna. A variety of aromas are available, such as birch and eucalyptus, to enhance your sauna pleasure. They even come in a gift pack selection. There are many more to choose from. You can purchase any of these optional sauna accessories from your sauna supplier. And now, there's nothing left to do but enjoy your previous sauna.